Yes, what's happening, people? How are we? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the channel. Deji and Don are going to be with us. Don's having some tech issues, but Deji will be with us in a few minutes' time. I've got D with me. I've got Lawless with me. This is London. The show is back. It is being brought to you every week. And this is going to be fun, man. Both these guys, they don't look too great. D's not been well. I wouldn't be well if I was a Crystal Palace fan. Lawless don't look too bright. I wouldn't look too bright if I was a West Ham fan. I get to sit and chill. I've done enough of my cooking, to be fair, on Monday. So I'm going to give Lawless a break from a personal point of view. But I reckon there's some lads on here that are probably going to give him some stick. But let me come to you first, Lawless, because uh, I imagine there's people you're not going to take stick from tonight, my friend. Absolutely. Look, I've... Show my face plenty this week. I've put myself through a lot. I did our our review on our channel. I then went and done never a foul, done race for Europe, done talk sport, done Saeed's channel. Now I'm back here. This is uh, this is the sixth time I am <laughs> live talking about this flipping result. Yeah, and look, everyone else that I've heard it from. For the most part, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Have your say, have your little shots, that's fine. But this is where I draw the line. This is where I draw the line when I have to come on here with a Palace fan and I try and say anything, mop it. I because mean, no, it, trust me, you was hinting it before the flipping before we went word. live. Before we went live, you started, you was giving a little taste. Yeah, of where this was going to go. We all know. We all know what's going to happen here, yeah? What and I'm you, What's wrong with this guy? All right. Well, go on then. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong then. Prove my me my wrong. point is, my point, well, well, oh, my point go. was, and still is, I mean, we were here about two to three weeks ago, and I said the same thing. I said that West Ham are overachieving, and you will fall down the table. And, I mean, you told me, Lawless, have you seen your side win a game in 2024 in the Premier League? Uh, you haven't because you've been overachieving and naturally it's going to catch up to you. We've seen these stats catch up to other teams before. And that's what it is. I mean, you keep talking about West Ham being this side and that side and this. Xavi, Xavi Alonso would want to come here and this and that. Well, uh, there's levels to this. You're talking about I wouldn't have it from him on her, but also you have to realise what you, what you are as a football club. I mean... We lost 5 0 against Arsenal, but we lost at the Emirates and we have Roy Hodge as a manager. And I've said it all along. I don't want Roy Hodge now at the, the football Emirates. club. But you've been raving on. You've been raving on uh, about West Ham and you've been talking about how another European football maybe next season and this and that. But 6 0 at your own gaff. <laughs> I mean, fans leaving at half time. You can't really talk. I, I don't know why you've got this energy to try and attack me because I haven't even said a single word. But. Yeah, uh, it is what it is, isn't it? it, is what it Don't is. give us this own gaff stuff as well because we've only been there for like. Oh, well, he's only been there for uh, life. Yeah, he's only been there out. for it's life. His he's, he's connection moving like West Ham. That's what it is. <laughs> now my internet's fucking. You're back now. You're back now. You're back now, Lawless. You're back no, I'm now. I'm saying we've been at this stadium for like ten years, so like let's not act like this was Upton Park or anything. Do you know what I mean? We're still new. It's in embarrassing. This it was embarrassing. I actually, I'm not even taking a piss. I was so pissed off because I actually felt sorry for you. But you came on here and you want to get rude to me. You want to get started on me and Palace. I already know we are in the mud. But the fact that you had to come on here and start off by mentioning Palace, I didn't even say a single word. It's hilarious. But Lawless, I, I, I don't feel sorry live, for him. Did. I don't feel sorry for him at all. <laughs> Not one bit. Not one nah, bit. I, do, I don't feel I do, sorry I for do. you. I do. We I do. love you, by the way. We we lost no, six nil. We're still above both of you, by the way. Let's just have. Can you not hear me properly now? By the way, is my mic? Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Go on, go on your yes, perfect, perfect, yes. Perfect, yeah. we are still above Chelsea and Palace, despite losing six nil. Right, so. right. But you was above us a few weeks ago. It's, being above Palace is not a hard thing to do. We don't win as well, so I I already know my club is shit. So it's fine. Like you can be above us. That's fine. I I've I've been upset with Palace for for a long time, but what I've said and what I think is still going to happen is. Next year, I don't know if you'll be playing European football. And I'm not saying that because of the 6 0 defeat. I'm saying that because you haven't been performing to the levels that you should be to be a side that's playing European football next season. And I don't think you're going to get the spots that you've been talking about, seventh or sixth or fifth or whatever. You might win a game or two. You've got Forest coming up. I think that's going to be a massive game. And I'm not saying like you're not going to win a game in 2024. 
uh, which you haven't done so far, but you will win games. But I just don't think you'll be consistent enough to go get them top six, top seven finish. But the reason why I did feel sorry for you is because I was watching Declan Rice score that goal. And I was thinking, just imagine this. Hey, like, can, you, can, you, Pots, can you see me in here? In a relationship with someone. You I see you moving, that. but I see D yeah. frozen. Oh, no, 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 it's you, man. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's you. But why, why can I hear you fine and not D? Like, D's frozen and you're normal. Of course, of course. I'm, I'm frozen, apparently, Pots. Can you hear, can you hear normal, D, though? Yeah. Can you hear D? Yeah, it's a connection that's picking and choosing. Well, I'm, what is, I'm, 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 I'm got some questions for this, man. What is actually happening tonight? I'm, I feel like this is No one can get on a stream. Everyone's <laughs> jumping off. Edgy's yeah. still nowhere to be seen. Don's not in and out. Lewis is in and out. What is happening, man? man there's 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 only one, the if you want to table London club, there is Arsenal. You've been fired, but the rest of us, we're just all in the mud. Like, you can tell, like... It's we're a mess. Time. Yeah, what's the today? We're a mess, literally, like our clubs. <laughs> yeah, you're like, now you're white. You're as hell now. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I don't know what's going on today, man. Oh, man, then. Let me try to fix it. Can you do it? working right now? That is like, bro. Mate, that like, is so echoey, man. Like, oh, all right, let me change my USB cable, will it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm two seconds. I'm two seconds. Oh, loud, man, and echoey. Oh, oh, it's wild, 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 um, of course, you've questioned Arteta a few times as well, but you have to admit the last two games, especially, I think it's been one of Arteta's best performances. Flex. Um, and do you think that you can continue this? Like, how you feel? How you feeling? I hope so, man. I hope so. I have my doubts because we always have these clusters. Now we have these clusters, bro, where we get into a stage of West Ham at home, we lose, Fulham away, we lose, mm -hmm. Liverpool, we go out of the FA Cup. And then we go on a nice run. We've done it with you. Do you remember when we lost to you, Brighton and Southampton? We're going for top yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was a few seasons going up. And then we yeah. went on momentum. Last season, same thing happened. We had Palette. Are we sorry? We had West Ham, Liverpool, and Southampton. Yeah, remember that? Three draws. We always have these yeah. clusters, man. And I don't know. I just feel like with the clusters, but what I will say. And I'll bring Lawless back in. What I will say is, I'm giving Arsenal credit as well as West Ham being crap. I don't think it's this West Ham were rubbish and if it was Wrexham out there or Salford out there, it still would have been six. Like for me, Arsenal deserved their flowers at the weekend, man. I really do feel that. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. think like Arsenal were, get, were given... It wasn't like all, oh my God, West Ham were rubbish. And some, some of the... Like Lawless is one of them are. Don't let Arsenal get any praise. Because it was just us that were poor. And it was both. We turned up, you didn't. That's why you got battered. That's the way I see it, man. But why why, D, why should you get praise? Because Palace would have battered us if we if they played us like nah, you're taking it too far. We can't batter no one, let alone us. Nah, any, any any what I'm saying is anyone could have done that. Anyone could have rocked up. Oh, shut up, up like just give them credit for once. What for? I, 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 I mean, what for? <laughs> this is this you is this is deluded, man. Come on, man. Did you I'll be honest, like, I've got onto Arsenal a lot as well, and I'm not... The funny thing is, like, I always get onto Arsenal because I, I don't want them to win the league. I, I'll admit, I know a lot of Arsenal fans will hate me for this, but I don't want them to win the league. It is what it is. Well, they're not going to, so you get your wish. You know, this is just crazy. This is just delusion on another level. Like, I didn't even know you had it in you. Come on. It's not... It's They, they played... You know, it's not just a West Ham game. The game before that as well. They've been playing some excellent football. And, yes, of course, West Ham weren't on the levels that they should be, but... To say that, oh, anyone could have beat West Ham like that. No, they wouldn't. If if, if if Arsenal went down to a Sunday league team, right, and put six past them, would anyone be hyping them? No. Is that we what you're saying? You are now. Is that what West Ham are now? Right, enough, That's how we enough. played like, because that was Sunday league defending. That's what that was. We and what do you put that down to? What do you put that down to? I put that down to um, the, just the, the manager, the game plan. The players' mentality once going 2 0 down. Um, yeah, it's a lot of things. Complacency. At least you admitted that you're Sunday League side. So that's I'm happy with that. I, I think we played like that. one in but, that game. Yeah, but but Lawless, what you're forgetting is cool. You weren't that great defensively, individuals, tactically, players, manager, whatever you want to say. But you can see the patterns of play at Arsenal, and you can see that tactically they were spot on. And I think 
that's what hurt you the most. I, I, I reckon if you face, I reckon if Palace faced you, if Palace faced you, um, and it was an Arsenal, I reckon that game would have ended nil nil because I don't think we can open you up like Arsenal did. You but get, they did. I, but this is the point. D. Because I think they were tactically coached and everyone. But was no, no, they wasn't tactically coached because you're saying that they opened us up. Oh. D. They didn't open us up until they scored the set piece. That opened us up because the score line changed the game. We could no longer... Okay, but it's 1-0. You local. can't have a head loss moment at 1-0. You have to give them some... So are you no, really you on here saying that Arsenal deserve not, no credit? It's not a head loss moment. What I'm saying is the moment they scored that set piece, there's no point to us sitting deep at that point, is there? We have to then come out. So as we come out, our line, back line, is higher. Then they exploited that high line and we played right into their hands. If we don't concede, that's a set piece. If they were limited to just open play goals, no set pieces, I don't think they're breaking us down. Or if they do, it would take them a heck of a lot longer and that would nowhere near be a 6 This is because you had a clean sheet up until the 20th minute. You think that they wouldn't have broke, broke you down for, for it the entire time. It was minute. It was nil nil in the 20th minute and then they scored the goal from Look set at piece. the shots set they were having. Matter, by the way, set pieces, that's, that's been their strength. I mean, ever since the Dubai trip. Yeah, they, but what I'm saying, you're, you're talking about tactically, pieces. but tactically they were relying on set pieces. That's what I'm saying. You're what acting you're, like what you're saying is anyone who scores a set piece against West Ham expect it to be four or five or six after that point. Well, the point I think the problem was is what made us capitulate so much was being sure is the is conceding two goals in really short time. Obviously, uh, Ariola gave away the penalty not long after that, which was a sickener, and then all of a sudden, like the heads dropped, and that's the problem. Heads dropped so quickly. And then the third co comes in, um, which which was another set piece. You lost yeah, six nil, Lawless. I don't know how you're trying to explain a six nil defeat and trying to say. Do you know what? Like replace this with still. the Frank Lampard post Palace uh, re reaction. Yeah, set piece goal, shit goal, another yeah, set piece. Yeah, yeah. And you know what everyone piece, said after goal. that? That he was deluded. And you know what turned out to be? <laughs> he was deluded, and that's why Frank Lampard has no job. So if you're trying to compare yourself to Frank Lampard, you're doing a very good job right now because no, you're true. both deluded in terms of what you're saying after the game. You just got smoked six nil, and you're on here. I'm ill. I was not even going to come on here. I haven't done no streams on my channel ever since that ever since the Chelsea game because I've genuinely just been bed bound, and I'm here. You're giving me even more of a headache. You're you're trying to reason a six nil defeat with saying that it was nothing on Arsenal, and it was just West Ham being shit. Like, are you that deluded? Are you? You're not. I know you're not. I know you're not. So let's stop these games and just admit the L. No, but it's, neg it's negligible. Yeah, Arsenal can get some credit. Of course, they have to stick it in the back of it. They have to put the penalty away. They have to put the good delivery in the box for the set pieces. That's all good. That's all fine and dandy. But it's a waste of time and it's absolutely pointless to sit here and focus on praising Arsenal when we were so bad. And because you know what makes me sick to my stomach, yeah? When teams beat these lot, yeah? When Arsenal lose, right, against the team, say Palace were to beat Arsenal, right? Now, match of the day will sit there. Sky Sports will sit there and focus on Arsenal so bad. Oh, Arsenal bad, Arsenal bad. Yeah, not Palace good, not Luton good, not Everton good, right? So now we have to sit here and praise fucking Arsenal when we played like a Sunday league team. You know what it is? Like, yeah, because they beat you 6-0. It's Wait, not a 1-0, 2-0 win. They beat you 6-0. They'll fall away from double digits in the Wait. Premier League side. I don't think you've lost 6 nils. What was the last time you lost by a uh, goal by this margin? Blackburn or something? That's what I heard. <laughs> like 60 years ago. <laughs> but that's exactly. It. Like, it's not normal. So what do they expect? Match of the day to say, oh, let's talk about West Ham being terrible and that's why they won. You're deluded if you think that match of the day are going to old Sky or whoever's going to avoid Arsenal being so great and talk about West Ham. Lawless, we're both in the mud. I think we can both agree. Like, you're not Arsenal's biggest fan. I'm not Arsenal's biggest fan. But there have, you have to give them the credit where credit's due. You can't be deluded. Like, we have to be on the same page here. But what's you the have point to give them credit in giving where them credit due. where it's due? That's not the story, is it? No. And they beat us 5-0. And not our game. I think our game, it was, it was a great performance. But I think the last two games in particular, the game against you lot and the game before that, um, Potts, who was it against? Um, it was against uh, Liverpool. Liverpool, yeah. Yemen, Liverpool, Yemen. Yemen. Liverpool and West Ham game, you have to, regardless of how much you dislike or like Arsenal, you have to give them credit. 
you have to give them credit because they've, why? they've why? Yeah. What's the point? We scored 16 goals in the last four games. We've seen improvement. We've improved from set pieces. You had the absolute audacity to say set piece FC coming from a West Ham fan. (laughs) That's what's funny. That's That's what's funny. You're relying on them. Can you not hear me? Can you not hear me? Yeah, 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 go on. on, 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 Can you hear me properly now? Yeah. Okay. That's better. That's better. That's better. Sorry, people. A lot of technical difficulties today, man. Apologies. Apologies. But Lulus, the thing that I don't understand about you, like I said in a group chat, I've got a lot of questions for you. Yeah. Because you go on talk sport and that big yourself up for going on there and you know educating a few guys that don't really know much about your club obviously you know your club inside out you criticize David Moyes you know you talk about how uh this this style of football is not sustainable and that's one thing that I spoke to you about when we spoke about whether you're going to finish ahead of us I know we're in the mud right now but one thing that I spoke about is your depth and I said your manager as much as I don't trust my manager I said your manager doesn't know doesn't know how to use the players that he's got very similar to my manager right but you will come in with a lot of chess we were literally three points behind you saying there's no way that you guys finish um, finish uh, uh, above us, right? This guy's playing Ben Johnson at, at left wing, right? He got rid of Ben Rama in the January window, didn't replace him with anyone, and all you do is criticise this man. I used to watch a lot of your streams last season, you know, Pots, and I used to hear this guy saying, get this guy out, get this guy out, yeah? On paper, you lot have had one of your best starts to the season. Best starts to the season, cool, that's fine. But when you watch West Ham, like I've said, that, that style of football is not sustainable for the guys that you've got. And what it is, you're wasting these guys. Because Kudus, he ain't going to be around next season wanting to play under David Moyes like this. You know what I'm saying? Paqueta, you know that if it wasn't for the gambling thing, the guy would have gone West Ham. Do you know what I mean? Bowen, bro, that's another one. That's, that's on route Liverpool. You're going to lose those guys. And the guys that are going to come in, my word. Yeah, if David Moyes gets more control in the window to bring in his style of players, it's looking long for you, man. You're going to go back to the days of bringing in guys like Listen, Dean Ashton was a baller. You're going to go, go back to the days of bringing in guys that can hold up the ball like Dean Ashton and, you know, play that aggressive Cole style. Cole, Cole, you know Cole I mean? and Dean Ashton. That's what you're going to go back to. So the first thing is you need to get rid of this manager. And secondly, listen, you might know I don't like Arsenal, but let's talk about football. Yeah, Arsenal were very, very good. That was their best performance of the season. Yeah, they were good. Oh, right? Come on, man. They were come good. They were good. They, oh, they, oh. It, it definitely was. Ah, it definitely that's was. Right? That's, that's, that's actually disrespect, really disrespect to Arsenal. Arsenal. You're disrespecting Arsenal. Arsenal. No, it was there. No, it was there. It was there. I'm not going to stand here, Don, and let you disrespect it was, Arsenal football club. Do you know what it was? No way. Do you know what it was, Lawless? Yeah. Do you know what it was, Lawless? Yeah. Look, in that first, in that first, before before they got that set piece goal. I, I said it to my to my group chat, yeah, like, Arsenal weren't really doing much with the ball. They were keeping the ball, controlling it, or whatever you want to call it, but they weren't doing much with it, If if to, to be honest with you. But then, when they got that that first goal against a low block, that's what you've got to do. You get that first goal, and then exactly. they, they have to open up. They have to come out and play. And when you guys came out to play, they had way too much quality for you guys. You guys couldn't really get anywhere near Rice. First few minutes, Rice was looking a bit shaky. Do you know what I mean? He has looked a bit shaky when he's played you lot this season. But when he grew into the game and he realised how robbed you lot are, he said, nah, let me play my game and let me do my thing. And he done his thing in midfield. You know, Saka, the first few minutes, he wasn't trying to run at his man. But after that, he grew into the game. He started to look a little bit more confident. Martinelli on the other side, I think he was a little bit quiet. But that dynamic between him and Havertz is, is all over the place. You know, Odegaard was getting on the ball a lot, trying to make things happen. And bro, overall, their quality came through, man. They, they beat you. And as much as Arsenal, you know, they, they've, they've been bailed out by a lot of set pieces... In this game, we can't criticise them when it comes to their to their open play because they scored goals from open play as well. And Ryan scored that banger. You know what I'm saying? I even tweeted, I said, me the other day, I'm shameless. I'm doing an Adebayor, bro. I scored a banger like that. Yeah, I'm running to the other side like Adebayor after you lot are booing me, yeah, when I, when I just won you lot a European trophy. I don't care about, oh, we're trying to put him off his game. Bun all that. He, that guy should have never been booed. the European trophy. Bun all that, yeah. Bun all that. I would have ran to the other side and done an Adebayor, yeah, loud. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would have done. Do you know what I'm saying? You're a so fan. You've got to hold that one. I'm shameless. I'm shameless. You've got to hold... It's football at the end of the day. Football's... We watch football for entertainment. We watch football for moments like that. Everyone knows that at the Bayou moment. You know what I mean? I would have done the exact same thing yeah, if I was because right. Because it was against like Arsenal. It. If you used to play for Arsenal, you're going to do an Adi Bayo, right? But not against West Ham. He used to play for West Ham and you lot were booing him. So me, I would have, I would have just slid. I would, have, I would have just slid to the other side. But honestly, bro, you guys are just... You're, you're, you're bad. You're bad. And a big part of that is, is your managers. Your, your manager, sorry. Um, and obviously the quality of players that come in when you're missing your key players like, like Paqueta and whatnot. Do you know what I'm saying? So you've got to get rid of this guy, man. You've got to get rid of this guy. You can't look at the table because it's just not going to be sustainable. Like, West Ham can kick on. 
You can kick on, but not with him, man. Not with him. Yeah, do you think D was... You think Shabby Alonso is going west? I mean, that's what Lola said. I like what Lola said. He's really for you. You better, you better get on the phone. You better get on the phone to Graham. I, I'm saying, if you want his number, I can give him to you, Graham Potter. Yeah, 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 Graham yeah go back to him. Who would you want? Who would you want? Like really, oh, going going back round in there, is, that what, is, that, is that what your long, winded question was, Don? What manager do I want? Because you said you had questions for me. I didn't hear one question no, bro, in that long ass speech. Oh, okay. Uh, let me ask you then. Do you still feel you're going to finish above Chelsea then, yeah? Yeah. Yes, I do. What? All of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden now, you had this, you had a comeback against Palace, the mighty Palace. And now we're supposed to look at Chelsea as someone serious, yeah? Conor Gallagher, by the way, huh? The guy yeah. that is causing you to lose games. <laughs> the guy that is the reason why Chelsea is so shit. <laughs> wins you this game against Palace, which means he's going to start more games, by the way. So he's probably going to cause you to lose more games. That, uh, what, one, one, uh, what did D say? D said earlier that this game was, oh, uh, this result, it was just one of them results. Yeah, it's just one of them results. you got to take it, whatever. Why should this change things? Okay, if anything, it should be a wake-up call for us. Yeah, so look, I'm, I, I can't say I'm not worried. I can't say I'm just chilled. And I'm just laid back and I'm like, yeah, this is, we're going to be fine. I can't say that. But I can't look at it the other ways just because we've lost 6-0 where we basically beat ourselves. Um, I can't mean <laughs> that I'm going to. And listen, you beat yourself, if, just shut up, man. Hey, and you, know, you, know, you, you see what this away, game was? Man. Hey, D, hey, hey, dad, this, hey, dad this, game, this game was everybody eats, man. Everybody got to eat. You know what I mean? Everyone was eating. Exactly, Taliba, like... Taliba was munching. Gabriel was eating. You know what I'm saying? Certain man not having dessert. Certain man were having starters. Certain man were having mains. You man got embarrassed, bro. Richard. Embarrassing, Richard. embarrassing. Richard. Listen, Richard. I agree. Richard. I agree that the players, the players weren't doing the basics like Moyes said. Yeah, like they weren't, you know, trying to win the second balls and whatnot. But that's because Arsenal, they just finished you guys. Like there was nothing left for these guys. They just looked at it and thought, this is long for us. This is long. I'm sure you lot have been in games or played games, yeah, where you played against another team. And they're just too good for you. They're just too good for you. That's what it was. I was I was watching a game where Arsenal were just too good for you, right? And it's when good, that happens, good, when that happens, good. and you're looking at a manager like Moyes, you've got no inspiration because you the hell can get inspiration from but that guy. This, this, this is what I'm saying. Where was all of this too good for us before the set piece? Where was it? Because we weren't seeing it's that. Twenty minutes. Again, oh, a game's ninety minutes. minutes. A game's ninety right. minutes. Bro. A game's ninety minutes. minutes. You're it's saying it's on the twentieth minute. minute. Is that what you're telling me? All right, let's see. After that, like, it's a let's see. Minute. You're saying they caught scored on the 20th minute. Yeah, that's what you're telling me. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Nah, oh, 32, 32, 32, 32 go, minutes. 32 oh, well done. Oh, 32 half minutes. Hour. Well done. Most of the I can't believe half, you're I'm praising sorry. this, man. I can't believe you're praising then, this. Oh, half hour, we were later, good. They, they scored their first goal in the 30 second minutes, and 10 minutes later, half of your ground was empty. So, what does that say about you? <laughs> This is crazy. Our fans were thirsty. That's what it tells me. Our fans were thirsty. They were part. Yeah, they needed a burger and beer, mate. They needed a burger and beer. They weren't shopping. They weren't shopping. They were part of the to go to the concourse. But Potts, like the fact that you let this guy tell you that that was your best performance of the season, the fact that you let him disrespect your club, it was massive. It was. That that club. I'm not defending their club. I'm talking about what I'm saying. No, no, no. You're disrespecting Arsenal. You're disrespecting what? the Arsenal. Bro, okay, let me ask you. Well, let me ask you. Listen, what, what, was their, what was their What was their, What was their best performance this season? Oh, no, she's lost your head, bro. Dan, 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 Dan. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you my opinion. Who I think your best um, performances were against this season in the league? Yeah, Wolves was a good performance. Brighton was a good performance, and um, obviously West Ham was a good performance. All right, yeah. so li Liverpool, Liverpool, was a Liverpool, was Liverpool, a was a good, Liverpool was a good performance as well. Uh, yeah, that was a good performance, but. I'll say this one because, bro, this is you Arsenal's biggest away win in their history. When a team it's don't biggest away win in our history, and you're saying it's not yeah. our best performance this year. <laughs> so wait, wait, Man City weren't weren't a better performance, no? No, hell no, no. hell no. No. Hell no, I can you pick out so many team? other games other than that one. You that was the team, that was the scored a deflected goal for one nil at home. Are you saying that's better than dominating? Yeah, someone because we away? didn't turn up. We did apparently for 30 minutes. Uh, that, that. Oh, what it is, he doesn't want he doesn't want your best <laughs> he doesn't want your best performance to be against him. I, I know what Lawless is doing. I know what Lawless is doing. I know what you're doing. Lawless, you know the funniest thing is you're actually like like I'm just deep in it now. You're so in the mud. Like I, that's why I feel sorry for you, but you, you're not helping yourself. 
I'm just thinking, Declan Rice goes to Arsenal. Well, first of all, oh, you, we hated go. that. you hated that. All along, in the summer, you were saying, no, he's going to go City, he's going to go there. He went Arsenal. That's like the worst case scenario. And on top of that, Perfect case scenario he, he for him. He's in an Arsenal side. He goes back case to scenario for Rice. Perfect case yeah, scenario. He goes. For Rice. He goes. Not back really, because he's not going to win anything, is he? So how is it a perfect case scenario? He looks scenario? beautiful there. He looks beautiful though. Declan Rice. He oh, he looks beautiful. Ground. He can look beautiful with no trophies. Wow, good for him. Well, well see he goes back season, there and he scores a goal while beating your side six 0 Like, I'll be honest, I'll be head loss if I was you as well, because I can't. I don't care if he's been two days, three days. I will never get over this because you talk a lot of shit about Arsenal, and a lot, a lot of other people do as well. But you do. And that's why you can't get over it. Like, we lost 5 0 against them, but I've, I mean, we've been awful this seat. Like, we've just been terrible. I want Hodgson out, but you've been talking about West Ham still finishing seventh and still saying that they'll finish. So much Chelsea. better against you don't help West yourself. Ham than against you're, you're still, so you say better. one thing, you say one thing, but it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. You still think yeah. that West Ham will finish seventh, I guess, that you still finish above Chelsea. But then again, you haven't won a game in 2024. So, that's why you're deluded because it doesn't do you make think, sense. Lord, like, Lawless, do you think D was right when he said that you're overachieving? Do you think he's right now? No, like we, we achieved. We, we wasn't overachieved. We achieved because guess what? Like when we was when we was getting them results, <laughs> we, deserved answer, it. we had our best players. We had our <laughs> best players. Hold, hold on, Lawless. Before you answer well, that, was there. man said, yeah, this man really just said, we weren't overachieving, we achieved. <laughs> you didn't answer his question. <laughs> The team yeah. what? Hey, Lulis, you're the best. The team bro. what? I don't know what, what you mean. Answer the question. Do you want me to define what overachieve means, yeah? From what you've grown up on and what you're used to, yeah? How many times have you seen West Ham finish in Europe, first of all? Let me ask you that. The uh, European well, we've actually... I've got, a, I've got a graphic for this, right? No, how many now, times have you seen West Ham finish in European yes, places? In the last yourself? 10 years, in the last 10 years alone, right, West Ham have finished in Europe, right, have got a European qualification... Five yeah. times more than any other club outside the greedy six, right? Palace zero times, yeah. Newcastle times. one time, Brighton one time, yeah. So let's put some respect. Villa one time, West Ham five times. So don't tell what me about those? overachieving. What competitions were those? Europa League and Europa League. conference. How many conference. times did you get did you qualify for the Europa? Four, one conference, because we've only qualified for the conference once. West Ham have, have qualified for the Europa that many times, yeah? Yeah, they, yeah. Have, they have. But I wasn't even talking about Europa mm. or Conference. I was just talking about this season. I, I think they've been overachieving. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is, the reason why I don't say we were overachieving is because we we when we was getting them results and playing well, we had our best players available. Okay, but Kudus was right? there. Kudus was there. I know Pequeta was there, but Kudus was there. That's a good point. Absolutely. He done nothing. No, what have I said? What have I said no, time and time again? What do I say? What? You what? take what you one say? of them members out that front three, it's a wrap. And Paqueta is the most creative out of all of them. Paqueta is the one that's feeding Kudus, is feeding Bowen, right? So you take the supply away, then you're taking away the, the output. When is he back? Kudus. Yeah, but this contradicts. Yeah, but this contradicts the point that you that, that I had against like, against you before when we spoke about Chelsea and West Ham. Obviously, we'll get into the Chelsea section after. I ain't got confidence in my manager. I've got confidence in my players. I'm, I, I believe my players are good, right? And I believe our depth is a lot deeper than yours. We've got better players than, than you overall, right? Overall, yeah, as, as a whole. I'm but paid, you were like, you were like, yeah, people. but you were like, you were like, oh, no, our quality is fine. When we're missing players, we're fine. But now you're complaining that you need Paquetta to create chances. I so wouldn't no one else you're starting team. 11 over ours. Like, if you ask me a strength. That's not what I asked you. That's not I'm what I asked saying. you. Because how many times did I tell you that I'm taking Bowen? How many times did I tell you that I'm taking Kudus? I wanted Kudus in the summer, by the way. How many times did I tell you that I, um, I'm taking Paqueta? I'm taking I'm taking some players that play for your team. But overall, you're taking these, man, to them. these man, I'm taking no, I'm taking those three. Yeah, that's it. No, I'm not taking what anyone else. What I'm saying else. is, I wouldn't do a straight swap. If you said to me, right, here's your starting 11, swap them with Chelsea's starting 11. No pick and choose, just the whole starting no, 11. You're, 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 you're flipping the question. We're not talking about starting 11s right now. Because if I, if I told you my starting 11, most of these guys aren't even available, right? We're talking about the guys that come in. When Paquette is missing, who comes in to create your chances? Well, this is the thing. We just sold him. Uh, let, we loaned him out. Bowen, Ben Rama, I mean. There we, we go then. Him out. There we go then. Ben, and Ben Rama, David Moyes has never fancied him anyway. So you're telling me that you had all this confidence that if Paquette is not there, Ben Rama is the one, the one that's going to step up then? Is that what you're telling well, me? Well, yeah, because that was he was the next person in that position. Antonio it will be now. Antonio's coming back, but... 
Again, I'm just saying. So when is Paqueta back? Where's Flynn? Where's that Flynn guy? Huh? What happened in to him? the next couple of weeks? Flynn Downs. Mm. He's yeah, on loan he? in Southampton. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're you're you're, you're, oh, you're, the, best. you're the best. You're the best. You're the best. And the Kudus thing, man. Like, real talk. When we spoke about Paqueta, Kudus, and Bowen, and Arsenal's front three, it was like, yeah, I can't yeah, really argue. Said that, they have the one of the best front three. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I, can't really argue, I couldn't really argue at the time that West Ham were balling in terms of on form, right? Because Kudus, I rate Bowen. I've always thought was a good player, and Paqueta's clearly a baller, right? But when you look at it. When Paqueta comes out of the side and then nothing seems to be going right, can't be that great of a front three then. Because when you lift one player and then the rest of it crumbles, ain't that great to me? So well, when you take one of our players ball. out or one of the City front three out or one of the Liverpool front three out, they are still but, balling. But you, know why? you know why? You know why, You couldn't beat Sheffield United Bournemouth. What's going on? Pots. But Potts, you know why that is? Do you know why that is? Because you take Martinelli out, yeah? You've got Odegaard there to create. You take Saka out, you've got Odegaard there to create, yeah? Take Jesus out, Odegaard's still there to create. So they're all better our than your players then. player is they're our creative better. player right now, so is what I'm so saying. So it's not that good then? So what you're saying is it's not as good as ours then? No, what I'm saying is it's the way that our front three is set up, because we don't have that creative midfielder, we are relying on Paqueta to create our chances for us because we do not have that player that sits behind the front three and and, and creates chances for them. Yeah, but we're, we not talking about that, front, we're not talking about Erdegaard. He's not part of the front three. No, I'm we're not saying that. What I'm saying is, Potts, Potts, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying he's part of the front three. What I'm saying is, he is part of your team. What I'm saying is, your that front three isn't relied on to create your chances because you have Odegaard who creates. So you can take one of your front three out and you've still got a creative player there. You take Paqueta out, guess what? There's no other creative player to create chances, right? What I'm saying is if we had a attacking midfielder now and a creative you have, midfielder... You play him on the left. Reality well, is hitting maybe. that. Reality is hitting that because the other week you weren't saying this. You would have thought that you had bare, bare Paquetas in reserve. You weren't saying I this. I never said that. Week. I never said that. Bro, did, Bro, did we not speak about did we not speak about their depth, Dan? And did we not speak about their depth? We spoke about yeah. their depth, and he was literally speaking defending about it all season, which is why he I would... put him tenth. But he won't have it. He was defending it. He was defending top it. Seven. Still lawless. Are you still confident about top seven? Listen, like at the end of the day, listen. we've got. I love that to phrase. Come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said, um, every time you say listen, I don't want to listen because some BS is going to come up. I realize every time you say listen, that's the time we shouldn't listen. It's thinking of an answer that you use. It's not right right context. You want you want yes or no answers. Is that all you want? Yeah. I don't know. I just realized that every time you say listen, we normally shouldn't listen. Like I, there's always there's a weird thing. I don't know. Anyways, go ahead. You're what you're more worried now, Lawless, aren't you, that you won't finish seventh? Yeah, of course. I listen, I'll be lying. Listen, I I'll be lying if I say I'm not worried, right? People. Don't listen to me. No one listens to me. The chat don't listen to me. You don't, don't listen to me, right? <laughs> when I say things. That's why you think I'm delusional, right? That's why, because you don't listen to the intricate words that I'm saying. Of course, I have reason to be worried. Yes, no win in 2024. That's reason to be worried. Yes, three losses, by the way. Only three losses, but still, I mean, we wins. should be getting wins. You know? Zero. Um, that's why, of course, I'd be worried. I'm not sitting here going like, oh, we're going to be fine. But, you know, I've just got to hope that we keep our players fit. If we keep that front three fit, I'm confident. But the defence has been a worry all season because we've consistently conceded goals. Like Arsenal acting like there's something special when Fulham beat us 5-0, by the way. So let's not sit here and act like Arsenal are this super team. Are uh, Fulham going to win the that, league? Oh, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Then. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Like, this is that, crazy. Like, let me ask you a question. Oh, so you don't yeah. want to give Fulham credit, no? We're not giving Fulham yeah, the same I'm credit. Be honest, like, Fulham... Oh, because Arsenal scored one more goal than Fulham. It makes no, no, Fulham. No, but... no, 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 no. That, that, Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You said everything apart from give Arsenal credit. I've heard you say, mm -hmm. "Oh, it was on you lot. That's why they beat you six 0 It was enough to do with Arsenal. Apparently, they weren't that great. I don't expect anything less. A load of waffle about Arsenal. You just have to give Fulham credit. Where, where, no, no, no. I did not see you, yeah? And I did not see you, Potts. I did not see any of you, like, I, I use a deji word saying here, shaking your bums violently for Fulham. 
I did not see any of you do that when they beat us 5 0. Where was their credit? Yeah? All of a sudden, because it's the Arsenal, yeah, you want to give you want credit, but you didn't want to give Fulham I, I, credit. I, I, I didn't watch that game. Oh, I didn't really speak much. Exactly. Of it. I, I just laughed. I told game. my I told my boys at West Ham fans, the you got against you got We're the Arsenal. <laughs> I knew that. And so, and so Lulis, Lulis, let me ask you a question then, yeah? Let me ask you a question, bro, yeah? Cool. So you got Forest next away. Then you got Brentford um, away. Sorry, at home. Then you got Everton away. Then you got Burnley at home. That's Aston crazy. Villa at home. Then you got Newcastle away, right? Which ones are you saying right now, looking at and thinking those are Ws out of those, out of those fixtures there? First thing, by the way, uh, before I answer your question, Fulham mm. beat us on a football pitch with grass, Yeah. Whatever construction surrounded the pitch, it doesn't matter. Home, away. It's a fucking football pitch with grass. Two goals and some chalk lines on it, right? So let's not sit there and go, it's even more special because we beat you at your ground, yeah? So, look. All I'm gonna say, so yeah, the, listen. The, 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 this guy is actually. Where, where's, where's, the, where's the W's gone? Nah, D, 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 don't, don't, D, don't let him. Don't, don't let him do that, bro. Just leave him. Let him. Let him get no, in his delusion. Buddy, this guy is. Hey, Lulis, 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 where are in. where are your W's coming from? Those 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 fixtures. Can, can I just chime in? First of all, I just want to apologize for being late. But let me help my brother Lawless out. There ain't no W's. He's helping you. He's helping you. He's helping you. There ain't no W's because that West Ham team. Is as dusty as Tooting Carmoon's coffin. Dusty, <laughs> dusty, dusty. No yeah. good at all. On a level, I really like you, mate. You are a good man. Do you know what I mean? But your club, that performance on the weekend, I'm I don't think you beat Colchester with that kind of performance. It was fully I dusty. Ariola didn't make a save. Your defense was running all over the place. And I I look, Dan, I ain't kicked ball. In about 10 years, I swear, Dan, I ain't kicked a ball. I reckon I would have gone on that pitch and scored a similar goal to Basmati Rice. It was that poor. And for me, I'm going to help you out, Lawless. You know it. Don knows it. D knows it. Dan knows it. There ain't no more Ws, bro. And, we, and you know, people, West Ham fans want to troll me online, but we want a trophy. That's what you get when you win a dusty trophy. We won the Europa Conference League. Now look. This is why I talk what, the way I do about the Cups. Because when you go for these low-level Cups, what we get the following season is as dusty as Tutankhamun. Now look, Lawless, now you've got to sit there in silence. Now you've got to look at a performance where you get slapped up 6-0 by an Arsenal team that ain't even that great. You made all these men. You, they brought on a 16-year-old boy for your team. Kudos was vexed. We were all, I was vexed for you, bro. And that's what you get, mate, from the Europa Conference League. Your level drops. You guys are dusty, bro. I'm going to say here, Dan, live and direct. 50 quid if you get one win. Oh. 50 quid. Wait, what? Wait, what? Out, 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 out of those six games, yeah? Yeah, out of that six games, you're getting 50 quid if you can get one win. That's oh, money. Sure. Oh, they've got Burnley in there, you know. They've Bro. got Burnley in there. They've Let's got, do surely you got, surely you're gonna beat Burnley at home. Surely you're gonna beat Burnley at home. Are we, doing, are we doing a virtual handshake? Can we do a virtual wait, handshake? Wait, wait, wait. Are right you now? saying um six saying, games or the rest of the season? I'm saying like, six I need games, West Ham to get a win in your next six games, just one win. Forest, uh Brentford, Everton. Away Burnley, right? So that's four. Well, yeah, no, wait. Send me your, send me your you got Villa, Newcastle. 50 quid. You have to get one. <laughs> you have to. Are you crazy? Look at the team. You're facing Brentford, Everton. No, no, you've got to like, do you that, man. You've got enough chance. Listen, I've got to do that. I've got a good track record of betting with Spurs fans. You know that. I've taken some good money off Spurs fans. So, listen, I've got to do it. I've are got you, that's insane. Are you doing it or not? I'm you just doing it. One, to say that you just need one win. If draws don't count, by the way, all right? Because that would mean that count. we would have to go to April with no win in 2024. January, February, March to April. We'd get to I April. Know. That's Deji, you, know, you, know, you. you know what? That's dangerous, Deji. You know what? You know what's dangerous? You know what? That's very dangerous, Deji. Because yeah. not even you've done it for six games here. Because if they keep losing or they keep like dropping points, surely he has to get sacked. Like surely, and then he'll bring someone else in. Then that could lead to a new manager bounce and you know a little bit of life and whatnot. Do you get what I mean? 
it's 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 oh, which it is. is dangerous, but yeah. where do you know what? I, I've had enough of West Ham fans shaking their bum violently. Let's do it. Six games. All right, let's do it. And guess what? Do you want to make it sweeter, bad, yeah? Do you want to make it sweeter? Is if we win those six games and then we play you on the seventh, you know that we got you I on the seventh. Look, let me tell you now, don't worry about Tottenham. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see. <laughs> listen, you got bigger problems, Lawless. You got bigger problems. All right, listen, li uh, listen. I'll take that bet all day long. That is insane. There is no way we are we are not winning a game in. I, look, you might get three or four draws in there. I'm saying you ain't getting a W. That's it. That's no, crazy. because this is the thing. We need a W desperately, and after that. With so you with Paqueta coming back as well. When was your last no win? Way. When was your last win, Lewis? Arsenal, Arsenal. 28th yeah. of December. Aye. December. <laughs> All right. So, so can we agree? But they see the W in the new year. You know, have we agreed it? Have we agreed it? Yeah. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, we've agreed. It's done. All right. Right. Well, I, can't wait. I can't wait now. I'm going to follow West Ham every weekend and see what happens. Well, we're going to be yeah. on the show every week. We're going to be here every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, you wait. Big up, Dave, man. I need, I need, I need Dave for, to do something this weekend, show, man. For next week's show, for me, you know the countdown with Carol Vorderman. Can we have a countdown every week for <laughs> Lawless? Do you know what? It, it's going to be a very short-lived countdown if we beat if we beat Forest this weekend. You know, which Dave, speaking of Dave, the I Forest fan says he thinks we will. I don't mind. I'm happy to take the L on it. Uh, do you know what? I, I your feel team like is very, that, your team is dusty. Well, we'll fight. imagine we go and beat Forest 6 0 now. It completely null and voids everything. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? What do you say there? What do you start your phrase with? What? What, what word do you start your phrase with? Imagine. Imagine. That's what I'm Imagination right. is wild, man. This imagine guy's doing fairy tales. Yeah, look, uh, that's, well, that's that's problem, Lawless. You've been imagining a lot of things. Lawless, You've been imagining a lot with of the things. way you're thinking and the way that I can see that your chest is deflated, mate. Imagine if Dorothy came on the pitch for West Ham. Exactly, like lots of imagine tapped her, tapped her uh, red shoes three times. <laughs> Listen, we'll see them, won't we? Because if Paqueta like... is back, if Paqueta is back, he's gonna be fired up. And I think he's the players be fired up. Why is he gonna be fired up? Because he wants to save David Moyes' job. Why? Why would he be fired up? I, I, I can't see us losing. I, do you know? No, what? no, no. no. I, I just want to know why would Pequeta? I, I don't. I'm not talking about the loss. But why would Pequeta be fired up? Like just out of curiosity, why would he be fired? Because up? imagine, yeah, he sees his team defeat themselves six nil, and he couldn't do anything about it. I don't like, think he, he gives a toss like that. I'll be honest. He, he, I think he's looking for the next move. I don't think <laughs> you're acting like you're acting like he's, he's going to be a West Ham player in the next five to ten years. I don't think he gives a toss. What, worry think, about I your play. I think after yeah. that six -0 defeat, I think after that six -0 defeat, I don't think he was crying. I think, in fact, he was, he was calling his agent to find him another club. I, I think he probably like, bet. I, I think he probably put a bet on six nil. Paquetta knowing him, that's probably what. <laughs> exactly, happened exactly. He probably hey, Lawless, if I'm with you, Lucas. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I've done. I've, I think I said my piece about. You have, man. Yeah. You have. Let's, uh, let's move. We'll see. Let's move. I'll we'll oh, go on, Lord. It's gone. Last, last thing. No, and I'm just saying, you all want to, you're all going to look very silly if we win on Saturday. Yeah. Convincingly. That's, That's all. Me, and Don, me, Don, and D won't care, but Dej, Dej obviously. Yeah. No, no. Dej's pocket will be hurt, but you're going to all look silly. Because you're eulogizing West Ham, wow. yeah. You're yeah, but no, no, no. I, I, I need, I need Dave's team to beat you lot because, bro, we've got City. Very unlikely that we beat them. Very, very unlikely. And you lot are only sitting two points ahead of us. So, boy, I need, yeah. I need, I need for us to do us a favor. So man. if we win, that goes back up to five points ahead. Yeah. You yeah. ain't beating no City. Still got to Let's play you at the bridge. We still got to play you at the bridge. Oh, the bridge! I'm so scared of the bridge. We slapped you. That's where we've, that's where we've played best this season. Away we've been poor. Yeah, all right. Well, listen, we'll come, we've come to the bridge and we've beat you there with a flipping, you know, championship goalkeeper in goal before. We'll come and we'll beat you again. I just need my Paqueta to stay fit. That's all. That's my all. Paqueta. Listen, yeah. let's, move to, let's move to Chelsea quick before we come to the kind of last part of the show. Uh, Don... Chelsea and Palace, you mean? Chelsea and yeah, Palace. Yeah, that's what, that's Chelsea, what it is. Chelsea, Chelsea. Don't, don't Palace. forget Palace in this equation. No, Palace, that's, that's Palace ain't getting spoiled. I didn't watch the game. I was doing a show when it was on, right? Obviously, a race for Europe was on. I didn't know what had happened. But from what I hear, Chelsea deserved the win. Maybe D, you'll disagree. I don't know. I didn't see the full game. Apparently, Palace should have done better. And Mateta just ain't that guy, is he? <laughs> but, I'll be honest. 
<clears throat> Go on, hit the home team first, man. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if they deserve the win. And this is coming from a guy who's so done with football at this point, not even just Palace because of Roy Hodgson. Like, I'm just done with football, like, point blank. Um, I would say that it was it was an improvement from the Brighton game, of course. We, we lost 4 1 in that game. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They, they scored they scored a quick goal in the second half. And and yeah, I don't know, Don. I don't think like Chelsea, it, it, I, I don't think like you cre- you had a lot of possession, but I don't think you create that many chances um in front of goal throughout the game. Uh, Give Chelsea credit. Give Chelsea credit, D. Where's the credit? Up, you sit back credit. down six nil. Six Give nil, you credit. shut up. Six nil. You sit back down. Back from yeah? You had a moment six credit. nil. Yeah, you be quiet, six nil. Yeah, six nil, you be quiet. Yeah, we're not talking about six <laughs> no nil. We're talking about, we're talking about football games right now. We're talking about a contest. Your game was in a contest. We're talking about match. This was a match, okay? Trittle, we're talking about mate. a match, all right? All right, when you fucked it up. It shouldn't, it shouldn't have even yeah, been a contest. It shouldn't have even right, been a right, contest right, if yeah. you had on the pitch. That's a sh- yeah. shambles. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but, yeah, but, yeah. But. yeah, I'll be honest. Look, I, towards the end, I had a feeling that we're going to give it away because that's what we tend to do. So that was Palace being Palace. But I'll be honest, it was a big win for you, though, but I wasn't that impressed by Chelsea. Like, I wasn't. Yeah. I think the Villa game was a better performance. Facts. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree with you, bro. Tactically, listen, in that first half, Dan, bro, we were we were shocking. Yeah, I was cussing. I was saying, get this man out. Like, yeah, even man. a draw, a draw ain't enough. Bro, we were bad. Like, And a big part of that, yeah, is playing uh, Cole Palmer as a false nine. You know what I mean? Mm. Cole, Cole Palmer as a false nine is not comfortable there. It only works against certain teams. Like a Villa, he wants to play out from the back. Like an Arsenal, he want to play out from the back. Because what you can do with that false nine, you can play a 4-4-2 off the ball. And you can box in the centre backs, and you can box in the midfield as well. Do you know what I'm saying? But against Crystal Palace, bro, these men don't want to come out and play. They want to sit back. So playing Palmer as a false nine is redundant, you know. And for me, before the game, I said, listen, Conor Gallagher, this is not the sort of game for him, yeah. Because someone on the, we need more quality on the ball in terms of creativity. Because Palace are going to play a very low block, right? In the first half, in between the lines, I'm seeing him hiding behind players. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, Madweki on the right hand side he was very poor probably his worst performance in the Chelsea top the left hand side Jackson and Chilwell they were quiet but Chilwell bro on the ball no one trusts him Dan no one trusts this guy because on the ball he just gives it away and I checked the stats at half time the year he had the least amount of combinations with our team that goes to show that no one's trying to go to the left because they trust Gusto more on the other hand on, on yeah, the other yeah, side Gusto was killing it down the right but, Gusto, Gusto was up he was, he was fantastic bro very very yeah. good you know um, Caicedo he kept giving the, um, the ball away in the first half. The only person really in midfield that was trying to make things happen, Dan, was Enzo, right? He was trying to progress the ball from A to B and trying to play it quickly, but everyone else was very flat. He's but been your best did... player in the last two games, right? Enzo. Enzo. Yeah, yeah, I'd say, yeah, he's, 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 he's been good. But in the last game, Gosto was better than him. Like, he was, he just had a decent performance last game, I would say. It was a, it was a decent performance. De- decent enough. It wasn't a crap performance. It was just decent, right? In the second half, he took off uh, Madweki. He put Palmer on the right-hand side to get him involved in the game a little bit more. He played in Cuckoo um, on the left and he put Jackson up top. Straight away, the dynamic changed. Now, like D was saying, I was looking at us with a lot more, in- we were attacking with a lot more intent. In the first half, bro, we didn't create nothing. Our XG was like 0.0 Saturn. <laughs> D, uh, you had a higher XG than us. I think they even had more shots than us on target in the first half. Yeah. In the second half, every time I was attacking them, I could see that there was a little bit more fluidity. Palmer was getting on the ball a lot more because when he, when he plays as a false nine, bro, He's not involved in the game. You don't see much of Palmer because he's mm. he's trapped up there. Do you know what I mean? And when he drops into midfield, it just looks all over the place because Gallagher takes up that position and Gallagher's not a striker. Do you know what I'm saying? But like I said, in that second half, what was missing for us in that final third was that bit of quality. We kept finding ourselves in positions to, you know, shoot or to create a chance, but it's mishit or Sterling's dilly-dallying on the ball. I don't know if you remember that chance, D, when um, Palmer gave it to Sterling. He just had to shoot on, on like first time or take one 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 touch and shoot. It took yeah. about three, four touches, and then we lose the ball. Do you know what I mean? But what happened was we ended up winning the game because we we're resilient. We kept going, Dan. We didn't stop, we didn't drop our heads, we kept going and going and going, kept attacking them. And in the end, we found a little bit of space. And listen, I can't I can't fault Gallagher for those finishes, man. They were top finishes. You know what I'm saying? The first goal was very good, the second goal was good, and then to finish it off, Enzo doing what he did. That was my man's was it but was that my man's debut, that right back. Oh, uh, no, no, it's yeah. second game. Uh, well, second game now. Game, second, yeah. second game. This guy, man, man, man made him flinch like twice on the floor, yeah? Very, yeah. very good finish. But overall, bro, like I said, it wasn't. I wasn't impressed by the performance. I was happy, happier with the second half. But overall, 
it was an average performance. But because of how bad Palace were, we deserve to win over them. Like they didn't do nothing in the second half. We did a lot more than them. We did enough to win the game. Put it that way. People, but it's not. It's not. Are... It's not a performance that I'm looking at and thinking, yeah, we kick on from here. I'm just no. looking at it like, bro, we should have. We should have been convincing majority of the game, and we wasn't. And once again, that's down to the manager <laughs> and picking the players that he did, the personnel. Silver from the back, bro. Very, very slow on the ball. This guy dilly dallies too much. He ended up getting injured. When Levi Colwell came on, Dan, straight away, we're playing it very quick from the back. Because Levi, he just plays what he sees. Silver, he will see the guy there and he does this with his hands. He starts doing this. I'm like, bro, just play the pass, bro. You're taking too long on it. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is what I've been saying about Pochettino. Be brave, man. Silver, legend, all time of the game, right? But he can't go on forever. He's nearly 40 years old. Do you know what I mean? He's nearly as old as Poch. Do you know what I'm saying? And this guy is still playing for us week in, week out. Trust these players and we will play better because they're not bad players. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I'll take I'll take the win. I'll take the win, but it wasn't... It should have been It should have been way more convincing than what it was. You man. just contradicted yourself, Don, completely there from what oh. you said. All of that, what you said. You've said all of that and you're still trying to say that you're confident with your chest that you'll finish above West Ham. When you've just sat there, talked about how unconvincing you were against one of the worst teams in the league. Yeah. Mm. This isn't no... Do you know what I mean? This isn't Arsenal or anyone like this. is one of the worst teams in the league. And you're talking about how yeah. crap. Yeah. This was the well, worst well, team in the league. you're also by form. You're one of the worst teams as well. So that's why. So that's why, Roland. By form, you're one of the worst teams in the league. Because I don't think any other side has lost 6-0 this year. How, 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 many, how many games have you lost in 2024 so far? How many games you lost in 2024? How many games have you won in 2024? No, but I'm asking, we're talking about losses. We're talking about Why losses. Why are we talking about losses? Who, who looks at losses other than where? Ask me We've how lost many games less have you won than both of you, yeah? That's what I'm going to say. We've lost less games than Chelsea and Palace. Yeah, yeah but Lulis, what it is? Go. Yeah, but Lulis, what it is, yeah? You think you're getting on. top six, Don, even though you mm. just said all of this madness, you still don't believe in your manager, yeah? I you think still we're still not performances that you can kick on from, but you'll sit there and go, yeah, we'll get top six. No, Come I think on. we'll finish. I know. I think we'll finish ahead of you. And the reason why, like I've said, is our depth. I, I rate your guys like Paquetta and whatnot. But like you said earlier, when this guy's not available, you've got no one else, bro. We've got. We've actually got, finishing we've above got, us. Don't. We've got guys. We've actually got guys coming back. We've got guys coming back, and a lot of these players have been bailing this manager out, right? If we haven't got Cole Palmer in the ten, we can play in Cuckoo there. We can play Carney there. We've got some creativity in this team. We've got creativity on the wings. When you lot, when West Ham are missing their key players, the quality is poor, bro. It's very poor. And like I said. I think my players are good. They're good. But it's this manager that don't know how to use them correctly, bro. That's my problem. Oh, it's always the manager, in it? The last manager didn't know how to use them correctly. Frank Lampard didn't know how to use them correctly. But, he said that. you know what I mean? All of a sudden, now, it's all, it's all the managers. None of the players. You try manager after manager after manager, and you've been shit. Yeah? But somehow... It's the it's, it's yeah, but 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 Lula, look, listen, listen, we played against. And you Aston think Villa. you're going to get another we, manager, and it's going to be a different story. Yeah? Lula, 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 we play. We look how look how well we played the other day. Because the point the the point that I've been um screaming yeah like weekly when I come on streams and whatnot. You lot have heard me say this yeah is that if this manager sets us up correctly, we will play better. Whether we win or not is a conversation to be had. But we will play better, which means you've got more chance of winning games. When we played against Aston Villa, right, we had an average age of twenty two. Who looked at the young players that day? Who was it? Arsenal Aston Villa. Because you played well. The other no, 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 no. Arsenal, 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 it does, it does, it does. No, no, because, because, look, because Sheffield United it, have a good performance every now and then. Don't mean no, shit. but but Lawless, I'm telling you why, why why we had a good um good um performance because of tactic tactically, Poch got his spot on. His in game management against Villa was good, and his lineup against Villa was good. But, but like I said, the lineup, the lineup, so yeah, the, exactly. That's around. my point. You didn't like the lineup, Don. Hang on, whoa, whoa. You didn't like the lineup, Don. You were only complaining about the lineup. No, against, against, against yeah, Aston Villa, against, Villa. Yes, no, no, no. I wasn't, I wasn't happy with Gallagher. But when, I, when, yeah, I, actually, yeah, I, when I, when I saw how he used him off the ball, it was good because it, it was very similar to how he used him against you guys, right? He, bo he boxed. People have been saying him. Gallagher's your best player this season, though, bro. Nah, nah, he's not. Our best player this season, for me, mm, I'll say Palmer, and then after him, I'd say Gusto. I'd say Palmer as well. Yeah, how yeah, you're player. finishing above us, by the way, is if we massively capitulate and finish in the bottom half of the table. That's how you'll finish above us. Okay, so hold your hopes on us. But the thing no, is, my, my, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this manager, I, I'm hoping that the only two points behind you. Yeah, I mean, there's so it's not, it's not that crazy, like you're okay. moving like you're mad or something. Like, let's, uh, let's, just, see. let's just see. 
Yeah, you so know who's behind Wolves us? are only four points behind West Ham. Wolves. We we Tem- haven't won a game right since since December, right? We, uh, for over six weeks, and they're still behind us. What does that tell you, right? So when we can start winning you games, you're overachieving. Again, that's what it tells you. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. What it tells yeah. you is <laughs> that we can go again. through a <laughs> we can go through a massive dry spell and still be ahead of these, right? People are looking at them like, oh, they're in better form. So when we when we start picking it up again, we're gonna increase the gap. Like I said, if we can win against Forest, even if we get a point. They're going to lose to City, right? So that gap should get wider this weekend. We've got some favourable results coming up. With Paqueta coming back... You're so one-man no team. No, I, no, but I think it's... It, Paqueta's it's coming back. Like it. It's like, what do you mean? Like one-man one team. team like Paqueta Paqueta for the last back. hour. I keep hearing I'm Paqueta. Just, back. Just, what about yeah, your yeah. other 20 players? You're a one-man team, yeah. Well, what, what about you? Oh, at least say, oh, at least say he's injured. Hold on, hold on. Stop the deflecting. Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop the deflecting. Are you a one-man team? You are, right? Stop. No, Stop. we're not, but it's... But I would have said the same. You take certain components out of there, but when you take the creativity out, our defense is poor, right? So Kudos poor doesn't have team. no creativity, Bowen, no, no creativity. Between Bowen, them, Bowen thrives off of creativity, yeah? Kudus well, can make Kudus. things happen on his own, but still. And Bowen, Bowen's not a nine. He's not a nine. He's been played out of no, position. We were playing long balls to him, for Christ's sakes. It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. Like, why can't you play um, Danny Ings? What's going on? I don't even take it back to West Ham, but it's getting me mad. I'm looking at this guy like, what's going on here? You Would know you what I'm saying? Danny Ings and you know, what's, you know what's so funny? Hell no. Palace, you know what's so funny? Palace, I think Palace should sign Danny Ings. You know, so funny, Lulis. Yeah? Do you, like, always, you always look down on us like you're such a bigger club. Like, just shut no, up. Why no, would Paddy David, and Danny you're too good for Danny no, Ings no, now. No, no. You Why too would good for Danny, Danny Ings? Ings? When we know that he's injured, bro. Like, who are you, like, you going to sign? He's Mbappe? not even been injured since Mbappe? he joined us. He ain't been injured in a while, though. Come on. He's, Come on. He hasn't had one injury in the, in the year that he's been with us. He's not playing. Okay, but he's not been injured. I'm going to have injuries, he's not playing. <laughs> Yeah, injury in training. <laughs> you get injured in training. <laughs> he had Why is he not saying what David What's going on there? You're too good for Danny Ings. You're too good for David Moyes, apparently. That's what you said. Right? Yeah. Moyes, which, yeah. Well, Lulis, 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 let me ask, let me ask you a few questions then. Yeah. So what? So what what makes you think that you're gonna finish above us? Is it is it because you think you've got better players than us, then yeah? Well, yeah, I think <clears throat> I think our, our eleven, right? Eleven against eleven. Is better than Chelsea's, um, and yeah, I just think that you're just a mess of a club. Listen, I'm not even saying that player for player, like you've got bad players. The problem is, it's sort of like a Man United problem that they've had a lot of the years. The infrastructure is such a mess that you can put like them players. I think if you took them individuals and put them into a settled team that's doing their thing, they'd look better. So, Mudrick, he might have been good at Arsenal if he went to Arsenal. I agree, I agree, he might have been a success. But at Chelsea, he's a complete waste of space. So that is an indictment on Chelsea, not the individuals, right? So the problem is bigger than one player that's not good or this player's not good. It's a big problem. You are a mess of a club but that, right now. Yeah, but the thing is, Lulus, though, I can give you multiple examples this season, yeah, where Poch has actually set us up correctly and we played better. Like I said the other week, Preston. So why do you want him out? Why do you want him out? Bro, because he doesn't do it enough, bro. We're we're, in, we're 11th, next behind you guys. That's what makes it even worse. We're behind David Moyes right now, yeah, in February, bro, after spending the amount of money that we did. You like to talk about how much money we've spent, right? But you, you're saying that I can't have expectations for this manager. I'm, I'm not even asking for too much. I'm not asking him for him to, to go challenge for the title this season. I'm just asking to be in and around Europe. And this man's got us in 11th. Right, like yes, that's, that's. I'm sorry, you can't, that's the you can't keep blaming. You can't keep blaming the institution every no, time. It's no, like, no, it's no, like no, these no, United. It's no, like these no, United no. fans. It's like these United fans that every time they lose, oh, it's the Glazers. It's the Glazers. I, wait, no, no, no. no. Manager got a job to do. Have to look at like this. Have you better at the Potter's period? Have you improved since Potter? No, we haven't. No, we have. We actually haven't. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me you're not better off? No, not right now, bro. I'll be real. I said this last time. If Graham Potter had this team, yeah, that Poch has. I think we'll be doing a lot better than, than what we're doing right now. I think we'll do a so better you job than premature Potter. on the Potter out thing, really. Well, it wasn't premature because at the time he deserved to get sacked. He kept chopping and changing the lineups. He wasn't brave enough to drop guys that you know were not good enough that they want to be at the club anymore. You know what I'm saying? He just kept you know playing Mount week after week when the guy was stinking. You know, ZH, this guy was on the verge of going PSG. Next game he starts. 
Yeah. Do you know that, what? That, that move flopped because of Enzo. Can you start I to, speak for D you. and I speak for Dan. I just want to say this real quick, D. I speak for D and I speak for Dan and I speak no, for speak all the Chelsea fans. You are deluded, chat. my friend. You never speak I speak, speak for me. everyone when I say we are sick of you, Chelsea fans. We are sick of you and your impatience and your get this I'm manager out and that manager out and rotation oh, Lord, Lord. and we start again. We're tired of it every time. It literally, we're gonna, we, we promise we'll be patient now. We're gonna back the manager. We want a project. We want this. <laughs> literally, weeks go by. Oh no, he ain't the guy. What's he doing? Get him out. No, but Lulis, I'm Lulis. tired of it, man. Lulis, no, I, I would agree. No, Lulis, I would agree. No, but Dan, 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 come on, guys. Let's, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's be serious now. Lulis, you're acting as if like Poch has us in sixth or seventh right now and we're complaining bears. The guy has, has us in 11th, bro. A tenth yeah, now. But is that not where yeah, you've tenth. been for the past few seasons? Is that not that's, where that doesn't been? mean that, bro? That that's not that that logic doesn't even make sense. That doesn't mean that it's acceptable <laughs> to be there. It wasn't acceptable last season, so why should it be acceptable now? But maybe it's gonna take time. Maybe it's something he's he's not gonna get it right not this long, bro. Season. It doesn't take you this long to realize that Silva doesn't need to play every single week. It doesn't take you this long to realize that like, Levi but is not left. There's back. a reason why he plays Silva every what week do you, that you don't you know about behind like the one. scenes. Don, what do you make of comments like this? Sam, mm. big up Sam, mm. says, Grizz, don't, Daddy Abramovich is gone. You're now mid-table club. Accept it. You're back where you belong. You're not what Abramovich. Because you a lot of people bro, say this. Bro, listen, at the end of the day, uh, we weren't, like the last few years um, under Roman, we started to regress. We basically became a cup team, right? We became a cup team in the league. We ain't competed since 2017. We just got, got worse and worse. We kept getting top four and that's about it. There was a lot of changes that needed to be done, right? I think Roman, if he was still here, I think he would have rectified a lot of um, a lot of the the things that needed to be done in terms of bringing in a DM, you know, playing Jorginho as the deepest man and, and thinking Kante is going to last forever. This guy kept running around. We went for, we signed Sal instead of signing too many. Do you know what I mean? These are just little things that this guy was doing. Like, I know, I know Havertz was up and coming, but we needed a striker. You know, he went and brought Lukaku, but there was no creativity in the midfield. All our creativity was coming from Reese James and, and Ben Chilwell. So people act as if Roman was perfect. I love Roman. I think he's the best owner the, the league's ever seen. But there was a lot of problems in the club. And what, what master problems was winning the Champions League. I'm happy and grateful for winning the Champions League. But that papered over a lot of the cracks. Yeah. These guys have come in, right? They're ambitious, but they've gone about it the wrong way. Yeah. Buying all, this, all these youth team players and not buying enough experience. Making too many changes at once. Yeah, that's a recipe you for disaster. You weren't saying it at the time, though, was you, Don? That's a recipe. And I'm confident. Whoa. Because I don't Bro, know. What I, I said, said I, I saw Matisse Bro. with briefcases and suits and sunglasses. <laughs> and that's what I imagine you and a lot Bro, of your fans. I, I was happy. Listen, I'm happy yeah, that, this, that they're trying to make changes. But the, the, the sort of changes that they made, like I said, bringing in too much youth is too drastic. Yeah, you can't win the league with just youth team players. You need some experience. And I said that. I said that at the time. I said, you need some experience in this team. But I'm happy with the, with the young players that they've signed. But right now, people are trying to run away from the fact that we've got young players. Pochettino has not been using them correctly, bro. You got Sterling. You got Silva. Sterling is not, bro. Sterling doesn't start for us right now. Sterling, Sterling does not start for us right now. Ben Chiu the other day, one of the most experienced players in the team. He's crap. He's getting worse by the minute. Yeah. When you look at Gusto on the right hand side and you look at Ben Chiu, it is night and day. Yeah. And if we keep Ben Chiu, let me just say something. If we keep Ben Chiu next season as our main left back, we are in serious trouble. Serious trouble because that guy's gonna break down. You were saying he was the best left back in the league not long ago. Uh, like, bro, you know that was think... before that was before he got injured when him and Reese James were literally they had us first because of their creativity. But again, you, that goes back to the, the my point. You we had no creativity. The life out of players, you're making these players worse. Sterling, like multi trophy, multi time league winning player, you're saying he don't even start because you've made him worse. You're sapping the him life worse. out of these players. Sterling, Ster Sterling is Sterling. Sterling is what he is. Sterling is grenade football. Yeah, him and Chiu on that left-hand side is grenade football. The ball comes, it blows up because they don't know how to retain the ball. He breaks down our attacks a million and one times. He's not that... He's Right now, we need to we need to sell him in the summer. We need to start to, you know, phase him out and sell him in the summer. Because, bro, even his body language stinks. It stinks. There's no way That's he can crazy. start in the final. There's, there's no way the guy can start in the final because even defensively, bro, the guy doesn't track back. There's bare examples I can give you this season, yeah, where against Brentford, Cucurella shouting at him, why didn't you track back? Against Liverpool, um, when Ben Chiu was left there to die by himself, when Bradley just ran into, into all the space. Where's Sterling? The guy off the ball is, is, is not, he has not got the mentality that we need right now. I need, I need hungry players. I know they're young or whatever. Just, just give them a chance, bro. They're here. Let's use them. The club Do you know what I'm saying? Because you're not good enough to have a player like Sterling. 
you know what I mean? He's a lot. I, I know we're not. And, 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 I, I, exactly, Lula. Spot sp- on. When we signed him, I said, bro, this is not going to work if we don't bring in a striker number one and we haven't got a set team, right? We brought in Aubameyang and we'd never played the guy. We kept playing Kai Havertz. Sterling last season, bro, I'm, I'm seeing him as a false nine. The same way you're seeing Bowen as a false nine. Certain games, I'm seeing him as a false nine. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Sterling is a type of player. He's a supplementary player. You can't look at him and depend on him. As, as experienced as he is, he was never the guy that City depended on. He helped everyone else and he chipped in, of course. But they had guys like Aguero, guys like KDB, you know what I mean, to help him, right? But when you're looking at him to help the team, <laughs> he's never been that guy. He's never been that guy and he never will be, you know? So in the summer, he needs to go as well, man. I, he's a legend, Premier League legend. Top 10 wingers in the Prem for me, but his time's up. His time's up. And so is Chelsea's. Oh, man. Listen, um, <laughs> well, that sounds like a way to end, man. Listen, big up. D, you haven't got much of the heat tonight. And you know why? One, you're ill. And two, I've just given up with laughing at Palace. Like, let's be real. Yeah, I'm giving like, up with you Palace. Are in the mean, if he was to cook me, I wouldn't feel nothing. Like, it's, it's, it's <laughs> like I'm used to the feeling you get. It's like, it'll be, it'll be you're pointless. Immune. Hey, hey he's dad, he's even, he's even giving up. He's even giving up on the team. I don't see him talking about Roy anymore. I think he's just accepting it. He's just yeah, accepting like, it. Just, you know, you can put me all you, all you want. I just, Let I me just. Can I just ask you one question though? Can I just ask you one yeah. question to close? Yeah. Are you going to get relegated? Uh, I don't think we will, but we are in a relegation battle. Yeah. Can we just like you know the bet we made? Yeah. Can we just like admit that you lost and let's do the forfeit like now? Let's not. Why wait? What's till the, the point end difference? Season? What's the point difference? Right hmm? now. What's the, the points what's difference the point? is like 10 points, isn't it? Like 10, 11? Might be more, man. Uh, Might be more. Uh, 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 between uh, Palace and, uh, between Palace and uh, West Ham? Yeah, 12, 12, 12 yeah. points. 12 points? Mm-hmm. Come on. So wait, hold on, hold on. Can they? Oh, hold on. Okay, so Palace, you're on 24 points right now, yeah? Um, Everton are on 19. Oh, so you yeah, guys ain't even... We'll go over to next time. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Big so, six-pointer in the relegation. Don't get sucked in there, D, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 we, we, are, we, yeah, we are with, with Roy as a manager, but it might mean if we lose against Everton, it might mean that he just gets the sack. But, but yeah, but yeah, I don't mm. know, I don't know if he gets, yeah, it's, I don't know why it's, it hasn't been done. We, are, we, are beyond, we are beyond incompetent right now, it's unreal the way that the football club's being run. But, but yeah, it's that team is gonna get raided in the summer. He's talking about oh, how yeah, this yeah, West Ham yeah, player is yeah, gonna yeah. go. This West Ham player is gonna. Hey, Lulis, you know that you know that you know that meme of Will Smith when he comes in the room and there's no one there. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's gonna be. <laughs> that's gonna be James Tompkins in the summer when he comes. Everyone back. gone. <laughs> but the thing is, but the thing is, this was <laughs> and that everyone's leaving. But Olise is gone. Eze gone. You know what I mean? Wait, these are all leaving oh, your man. club, D man. It's peak. Lulus, don't laugh. You players are leaving your club as well, you know. Is that the guy's laughing like, like, like <laughs> Come on, James. He just done a Kanye West. He just done a Kanye West. He was smiling and his face just went, went blank. <laughs> he's uh he's, like, he's laughing a bit too much there. Like, bro, like, these about, these players way, are gonna look to get out though. These four oh, are gonna yeah, look yeah. These man, these man this year. What about Mitchell? I don't think Mitchell. Yeah, Mitchell, I like Mitchell. Where yeah. do you where, where do you think he, he can go, man? I think he, I don't know. I don't, Mitchell, I don't look at him. But the thing is, like a fuller, like is, a fuller maybe. But but everyone, ev- everyone says this about Palace every summer about these players one out, that players one out. Last summer, how much you getting for them, D? I'm a, how much you getting for them for? Uh, I can see two players there. That's around hundred mil just for two, let alone all four. At least say what? What hundred mil each or for both? Two for what was that? For, for 100 mil each or for both together, like combo package? Com- at least say 60 uh, and gay at least similar levels. Yeah, 120 gay, just for them. Yeah, just looking at the players. Yeah. yeah. How much is Anderson yeah. then? Because I think he's a quality defender, man. Yeah, he's he's had, yeah, he's not having the greatest for season, probably around like the 40 range. How old is he? Very fat. He's, he's, exp- he's, he's older than gay. He. Let me actually look at it. Um, 27? I think so. That sounds right, but Wait, imagine they get relegated. This is going to be like Arsenal coming on. This is going to be. I don't think they will, though. You know, I don't discounts. think they will get relegated. I don't think they will. I think it'll be. Yeah. I think it'll be um, the three to come up. I, I'd love Luton to stay up, but I just think Luton are going to go down with Sheffield United and Burnley, man. Yeah, look, look what happened to Luton with Sheffield United. I mean, everyone praising them, but it's not like they're going to win every single game. It's still tied down that you get, but, but yeah, yeah, man. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Wicked. Listen, let's leave it there, people. Um, I'm winning two bets this season. I can't wait. That's what I'm going to say. I'm winning two bets this season. One with a Palace fan, one with a Spurs fan. 
I can't um, believe Deji when... bet you that, you know. I cannot believe he's done mm -hmm. that. That's, that's by crazy. the way, Dan United still hasn't paid me our bet, by the way. He still hasn't paid that off. Oh, yeah, um, he owes you 50 quid, yeah? Yeah, yeah, he owes me 50 quid. I need to send what was that again? It was... What was it about us? He oh, bet relegated. me that we would have been relegated. It was, he said you were going to get relegated. Yeah, he said we was going to get relegated. That's it. So people just learn, like, stop betting with me because you'll lose. Okay. Just and then stop. what was it? Tobes bet you? That was a stupid bet, man. He bet me that Son would come in within ten goals of Haaland. Like, so, oh yeah. So, so if Haaland scored fifty, Son would score forty. <laughs> I said Haaland. I've never heard anyone call Haaland. Haaland, Haaland. You know, I've never oh, I heard. Why I said Haaland it like that? To be fair, Haaland. But the point is, I won some money off it. I won a hundred quid on that one, I think. So, yeah. Well, we'll well you're winning money, but your team ain't winning games. So, at least you're winning somewhere. <laughs> well, listen, I'm I win 50 quid when my team wins I'm in the next six. At least, at least you're winning somewhere. At least it's not L's all over the, all over the pitch, you know. So next six just... games, watch. And like I see, Potts was like, oh, I'm going to start I'm gonna start keeping an eye on West Ham results every week, as if you don't already. Yeah, as, as if you don't. Yeah, I thought that. When you said that, I was thinking to myself, yeah, yeah, I yeah, but now it's gonna, yeah, but now it's gonna change. It's gonna change the settings on the FPL app. It's gonna put like, it's gonna yeah, put the like, West Ham. What's the notifications for West Ham now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if yeah, we're on the same time as, as Arsenal, he's gonna be watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with Paquetta coming back, watching that superior front three, mate. Cook. Who have you scored the weekend? Quickly, by the way, Forest. Forest, and then who? Yeah. Uh, and Don. You got City, and you? We have City, man. City away. Palace fam. got Everton. Who you got? We we got Monday Night Football with Everton. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, you're done. What about uh, Arsenal? We got Burnley away, man. Which should be all right, but you come never on, know. company. Do it for Pep, company. Do it for Burnley. Pep. Burnley, bro. They were, they were decent against Liverpool, man. It's just their quality, man. That's what it is. They play good football, but they're yeah, they're a good side. By the they're way, a good side when they want to be, but I ain't seen enough from them this season. So. If you oh, lose that, mean, everything six 0 That's all over. Like that's all redundant. It's null and void. Yeah, it will Doesn't be. Mean I, I actually, I actually agree with that. I actually agree with that. But I can't see. We ain't talked about Arsenal much because obviously, I'm kind of. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying. You were just chilling today, man. You were just enjoying yeah, today. Yeah, man. I was. I was you know chilling. What I'm saying? Good, you get. You get. You get. Some, you get weeks like that, Dad. Don't worry. Hundred <laughs> percent. I, I, I trust you. We'll never forget the six 0 Like that's not going away, Lord. I'm sorry, but yeah. No, nah, man. Right. So you lot. You lot back in Champions League uh, next week, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, cool. next week, man. Might have to move the show actually because I think it is Wednesday night. We have to do it after or before another day or something. But I'll be in touch. But yeah, man. We have got Porto next Wednesday night. So uh, <clears> yeah, man. Let's see what happens there. Away first, and then the home leg week after or a couple weeks after i think it is so mm. that's will be us but uh yeah man listen make sure you do me a favor people like subscribe we hit 16k tonight thank you so much for that and um go follow d palace go follow at the lawless and west Ham fan tv and go follow greasy don make sure you give all these men some love go follow deji spurs as well we'll see you next week take it easy we're out of here people peace love